Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, well, here's our presentation on Redbox and, and our plan moving forward. Sorry. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, I'm going to go through the general overview really quickly. Um, our unique value proposition, the markets that we'll be interested in, the resources and capabilities that we have that will be so important to this, um, various imitation that we'll throw up in our strategy in general. So, we'll just get, I'll give the overview. And then Juan and Tan are going to go a little bit more into the specifics of how we're going to do these things. Okay, so our unique value proposition, um, basically we realize that we, we service a lot of customers that love the fact that Redbox is convenient and it's cheap. And we really don't want to move away from that. We're going to leverage the fact that we have a subscription-free movie service. Um, and we're, so, so we're going to promote and expand the existing Redbox machines and use that customer segment that, are, that already exists. We're also going to try and move that customer segment towards streaming, but in a subscription-free way. So we're going to move forward and offer that value that, that they don't really need to have a subscription, but they can still stream movies. And then eventually, to differentiate further, we're also going to offer um, some in-house theater releases. So, so movies that are still in the theater, we're also going to offer through the streaming service. Um, that'll be one of the new things that we offer exclusively um, to Redbox. And, and then Tanner will also get more into the specifics on that one. Perfect. So the markets, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we have a very large market that likes the idea of not having a subscription. And so we don't want to move away from that. We really want to promote that, make it grow. Even using the physical rentals, we want that market to grow. And, we'll, and, and the plan will explain a little bit more how we're going to make the rental within the physical machines grow. Um, but we also want to move those customers towards streaming because it is so cost effective and because it is really like the way that, that things are going in the entertainment industry. Um, so, and also in the, with the markets, we're going to move towards the theater market as well. Um, and, and Tanner will explain that too. But there is a lot of profit to be had there. And we'll explain exactly how that will be profitable and how we plan on doing that. Um, Tanner will do that later. So, research and, and resources and capabilities wise, we realize that we do have some great resources and capabilities um, as Redbox. All those physical machines and just an enormous customer base. Um, they, they both are going to help us, um, as, especially as we try to move and, and establish a streaming community. Um, what we plan on doing is using that customer base, um, and, and also this is one thing that Juan will talk about more later, but we're going to offer some buy one get one free deals um, to move customers towards streaming. Um, so we're going to use that existing network. Um, we're also going to use Redbox's brand name to promote that online streaming service. It's something that people know and trust. They have, they've had good experiences with it in the past. And we, we hope and we will, we're going to give them more experiences in the future um, as we keep moving with the entertainment industry. Um, and so we're also going to use our cloud and sheer demand to get those new release movies um, before anybody else into that, that home theater streaming service. And again, Tanner will explain a little bit more about how that's going to work, but that is a, a big part of our strategy moving forward. Perfect. So barriers to imitation. Um, a big one's going to be the first mover effect, especially as we move into this uh, into the, the theater business and to the, be the first ones to offer early release movies to streaming. Um, we're really going to have that clout um, with our entire with our enormous uh, consumer base. We'll have that clout um, with the distributors of movies. Um, again, Tanner will explain that more in, in a second. Uh, we also plan on having a very large cost advantage. We're going to keep our website very simple. Um, that's one of our big things. Is we will offer some of the movies that are in Redbox but hopefully not quite as many as the selection that's available there. We'll keep the website simple, maybe with 20 popular movies, um, which viewers can stream from for the same price or even less as in the, than, than the Redbox. So, so, I mean, $1.50 or $1.20. We want to keep it that way, um, and hopefully that will create a cost advantage that will also keep others out. Um, and also we know that we'll have a cost advantage over movie theaters um, with no brick-and-mortar investment, as Tanner will explain in a second. Oh, and sorry, one more thing. Also, our, our, our strategy, so, so the basic, basically the logic behind it, it's a two-pronged approach. We're going to use those machines to move towards the streaming market, to offer it in a way that's really just convenient and easy for people. We'll get that customer base really established in that way. Um, and then also our other prong, obviously, moving forward, that will differentiate Redbox as compared to others, will be that theater experience that really is only available with Redbox. Perfect. Now let's try to make that we are going to use our diversification and alliances and we are going to show you how we are going to use these vehicles. So first, um, 
we, before we enter in the, into the streaming market, we want to take advantage of the resources that we have, which are mainly kiosks and DVDs. So we want to do this through alliances and promotions. In 2010, um, Redbox started an alliance with, in a, with uh, the popcorn company Orbital Red and Packer. So in the same year, as you can hear in the graphs, the total rental it and the general revenues increased a lot. So we believe that this expansion was because, because of that, that alliances and promotions. So for that reason, we want to do the same again. So as uh, Jason mentioned, we're going to uh, do these promotions with some of our partners' uh, companies, such as McDonald's, Walmart, and 7-Eleven. Um, we are going to offer some promotions and some, some discounts on free products. So uh, we believe that this can help us increase our profitability. Um, and once we are in the streaming market, we are going to use a bubble strategy, which is by one in one free. So they are going to have a free rentals per uh, free streaming per each rental that the customers uh, make. So we believe that this is going to help us to increase our profitability in the sorry our the awarenesses of our our streaming um, platform between our customers. Uh, we want to take advantage of these strategy vehicles because we made an um, uh, analysis on the return on capital on two companies that are Netflix and Amazon. And at the beginning, it's always difficult. So for that reason, we want to be prepared before we enter in the streaming market. Hey guys. So I'm going to explain today um, our differentiation strategy of uh, the movie theater experience in home. Okay. So basically how the theater industry works is you have your movie studios, distributors, and theaters. Um, now theaters will negotiate with distributors to basically lease out a movie within their theaters. And then it's a profit sharing um, structure. So for the first week, you know, theaters will take about 10% and then 90% will be given to studios and distributors. Um, and then that, that piece of the pie gets bigger for theaters as the weeks go by, which by the end of about four weeks will be around 40% for theaters. Now Redbox is gonna come in and they're gonna negotiate with distributors to stream uh, movie theater movies into people's houses and um, we figure that we can make a profit on this because we can charge about ten dollars per screen per viewing um, and how we're going to make a profit off that is because we'll use uh, Amazon Web Services um, and using that will cost us about 4.59 million now we did that those uh, mathematics based on how much they charge per gig how many gigs it takes to stream one movie, and then an estimation of um, capturing about 15% of the market share. Um, now, by doing this, we'll be able to differentiate ourselves from other streaming services, which offer a very um, a broad spectrum of movies, but we can be able to offer people new movies that haven't been seen yet. Um, and by doing this, we really believe that we'll be able to capture new clients and be able to increase revenue. And then lastly, looking forward, um, we'll look into streaming live, uh, live shows or plays, um, things along those lines as well. And this is our appendix.